Aloha, beautiful souls. Welcome back to A Better World with Adrian. This is a Friday Fire episode where I send you into your weekend with a blast of codes, tools, insights, and I feel really, really inspired to do a Friday Fire podcast about the Jupiter and Gemini transit that is coming up from May 25th, 2024, all the way till June 2025. So literally 13 months of a transit. And so a transit is when a planet is in a certain sign. It's like a, it's like a, a, a pathway and a time that it's in a certain energy. And so when we think about the moon, a moon is transiting through each sign like every three days. You know, Mars is more like every four to six weeks. Mercury tends to be around three weeks unless there's a retrograde. Pluto, Pluto is an Aquarius right now. Pluto transits are like 15, 20 years. And Jupiter transits are about a year or a year and a half. And so it's not very often that we get Jupiter in a certain sign. And so I'm really excited to just channel on this transmit on this transit on how you can use it in your leadership on what it means for your leadership, because new earth leadership is being in right relationship with the stars, with source and with divine timing. And so we really are called to task to study the stars, study the transits, study where it impacts your life, study how it's impacting the collective so you can use that information and how you share your gifts. And yeah, it's a really, really exciting transit. And I'm just here to channel on it to stoke your knowledge and expansion, which are both very Jupiter, very, very Jupiter words. Knowledge and expansion is Jupiter. So Jupiter is the planet of luck, abundance, expansion, and opportunity. It is known, he is known as one of the great benefics of the Zodiac. I describe Jupiter as the Oprah of the sky, the Oprah of the Zodiac. He's like, you get a car and you get a car and you get a car and you get a car. However, only the people that buy the ticket to get in the room get the car. So that's the thing about Jupiter. It's luck, abundance, expansion, and opportunity for the people that go fully on the adventure of life. Jupiter is very tied to Sagittarius. Sagittarius is teaching spirituality. It is um, learning and knowledge and study. It literally rules astrology. It's foreign lands. It's wisdom. So Jupiter is going to be in the sign of Gemini for the next 13 months. So Jupiter has been in Taurus for the last year and change. And just a little insight on one of my major decisions in my life that I made. Well, I knew it intuitively. And then I was studying astrology and I was like, oh girl, like it's now divine timing is right now. And it was, you guessed it, my timing and decision to move to Maui. So I was around this time last year, I was really getting like, I was already making alterations in my life in Chicago and, you know, closing certain doors and just rearranging things. And I was getting the hit like, okay, Maui's not a trip. You're going to live there. And I was like, okay, that's like a really big, how am I going to do that? When am I going to do that? Like, what does this all mean? And I start, you know, going deep into ceremony with myself and spirit. And I start studying the astrology and I see that Jupiter, the planet of luck, abundance, expansion, opportunity, literally Jupiter is the planet of miracles. Jupiter is the planet of miracles. It's like miracles are around every corner. It's the great benefic. Remember, it's the Oprah of the Zodiac. I saw that Jupiter was entering Taurus. Jupiter was entering Taurus and I'm a Taurus rising. So that was very, very, very personal for me. 
Jupiter has been in the sign of literally my identity, literally the cells of my body, um, literally like how I, how people recognize me in this lifetime. It's like my vehicle is Taurus rising was entering. And so I saw, oh, Jupiter's entering my rising sign. It's divine timing to take a leap, take a leap of faith because Jupiter is in your sign, girl. So this is what I mean by like studying and leveraging the astrology. Jupiter is the Oprah of the Zodiac. And so if you want Oprah shit to happen in your life, you got to learn about Jupiter and be in right relationship with Jupiter. And then when you see certain areas of the collective, which Jupiter has been expanding the elements of Taurus, which is the divine feminine, Mother Earth, um, wealth, self-worth, the body, the divine feminine. I don't know if I said that already. Expanding all of that for better and worse, right? Because Jupiter doesn't discriminate. Jupiter expands everything he touches, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So depending on what you've been creating in your life, it could expand things that are not so awesome. Um, Jupiter can go overboard with things. And, you know, I know that energy well because my natal sun is conjunct my natal Jupiter. So like my luck and abundance is expanded every time I shine my light and every time I shine my light or every time I tap into luck and abundance, I, my light shines brighter. It's like, it's very, very tied, but, and it's a recipe for burnout and like overdoing things sometimes. So Jupiter, all of this luck, all of this blessing, all of this expansion, all of this opportunity for the next 13 months is going to be in the sign of Gemini, in the sign of Gemini. And I, I coined a term. Gemini genius. And I did this a couple years ago in one of my breathwork astrology masterclasses. These are like my legendary signature bespoke masterclasses um, where I share my cosmic cellular breathwork transmissions and we deeply study the energies, the lunations, all of this. And Gemini is one of the most misunderstood signs in the zodiac a lot of people are like oh gemini's two-faced oh gemini is like non-committal it's like say one thing do another like super ungrounded and all of that can be true right there are unhealed aspects and expressions of every single sign in the zodiac and guess what between you and me and the campfire all of us have every expression living within us. It's just, what do we feed? What do we choose? What do we make a habit, right? It's called being human. <laughs> so people hate on Gemini all the time. And I'm like, you know why people hate on Gemini? Because in its highest expression, Gemini is embracing totality, embracing all parts of you. And in its highest expression, it is the ability to hold multiple truths at once. Gemini is the twins. Gemini rules the lungs and the nervous system. So it is actually the most potent time of the entire year during Gemini season to do breath work and create transformation through breath work because Gemini rules the lungs and the nervous system. And... For Jupiter in Gemini, it's not just Gemini season. It is, oh my gosh, my neighbor just got home and hopefully you can't hear that music. <laughs> and I'm not going to edit that out. I'm going to keep it in here. Um, Jupiter in Gemini genius, it's a whole 13 months where the, your ability to hold multiple truths, your ability to embrace your totality and bend your reality around you with your breath, with your life force energy is it's divine time. It's divine time for this to be able to occur because Jupiter, the planet of luck, abundance, expansion, and opportunity is in the sign of Gemini. So your luck, 
your abundance, your expansion, your opportunities, your miracles are directly tied to, can you hold multiple truths at once? Can you embrace the totality of who you are and who humanity is at large? You know, Gemini is, is learning, technology, sharing information. Like Gemini is all about knowledge, 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 learning, 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 talk, 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 talk. Um, one of my astrology teachers once said, you know, if you want to get referrals in your business, make sure you have Gemini clients that, because like, that's what, that's very Gemini. I just love to talk. I just love to share. And, you know, it's very a lot, like most of my clients have a lot of Gemini. I don't have any Gemini placements. It's my second house and my first house, but you know, no matter who you are, you can transform through breathwork. And no matter who you are, you have a Gemini part of your life that can be totally transformed and quantum leap through breathwork. But Gemini, I do find that a lot of my clients are Gemini, big Gemini energy, just because they're attracted to breathwork. Why? Because breathwork rules the lungs. Breathwork and the lungs are very, very Gemini. They're Gemini as fuck. Well. And so it's the, it's, your nervous system is going to be expanded during this transit. And so if, remember, Jupiter expands everything it touches. If you haven't been healing and aligning your nervous system with the cosmos, with your deep healing, if you haven't released things back from 2020 that you've been holding, oh, Lordy, that shit going to be expanded. Okay, so now it's time to prepare. It's really, really time to prepare for this transit. And I really want to speak into, there's so much magic in Gemini. There's so much magic with Jupiter, but I want to be real. Jupiter expands everything it touches. And Gemini in its unhealed expression is gossip, is spreading of misinformation. It is that two-faced, I don't know what's real, literally lying. And so... What I really expect in the collective and from, you know, the powers that be in, you know, political positions of authority, we can expect a lot more quote unquote fake news for the next year. We can expect a lot more gossip. We can expect a lot more spreading of misinformation online, which is actually extremely, extremely dangerous because, you know, what what's being shown online right now is so much with the genocide is being recorded and you know having discernment of the information is going to be vital 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 and having command of your nervous system so you can tap into the truth so you can create your own cellular safety so you can hold multiple truths at once is going to be vital 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 during this transit. And so not only do we have Jupiter and Gemini for the next year, we have, which is mutable air, mutable means change and then air. So it's changed through air, change through life force, right? So Jupiter and Gemini genius, Gemini genius, my term is quantum leaps are available to those that breathe and those that breathe consistently. It's not just a one-time moon. It's not just a, oh, it's Gemini season. It's like, yo, 13 months of your abundance, 13 months of your expansion, 13 months of your opportunity, 13 months of your miracles. You got to tap into the breath. And so this is what's coming ahead. And it's really important. You know, luck is what happens when preparation and opportunity meet. And this is literally the planet of luck in the sign of the breath and the nervous system. Um, spoiler alert, I am leading a Jupiter and Gemini genius breathwork masterclass on May 30th, 2024. If you are listening to this before that go to the link in the show notes and sign up like you definitely should be there this is a really really important transit um i also want to make a very deep connection to how this all relates to 2020 because you you and i both know 2020 was a line in the sand moment and astrologers saw it coming a mile away we're like whoa what's about to happen in 2020 um, what? And then, you know, 
of course, global uh, airborne pandemic. There's a very important connection between what's happening in 2024 and 2025 and what happened in 2020. And the connection is this. In 2020, we had the North Node in Gemini and we had Saturn in Aquarius. The North Node of our collective destiny was in Gemini. And so literally it comes back to Things like when George Floyd was murdered in broad daylight and literally said, I can't breathe as he was being choked out. You know, North Node and Gemini change through the breath. Saturn in Aquarius, limitation, boundary, restriction through fixed air, which is fixed life force. Okay. And, you know, there was a lot of misinformation spread online about all of this stuff with the North Node and Gemini and the South Node and Sagittarius was like very, very dogmatic. There was so much dogma. There was like, I'm pro-vax, I'm anti-vax. Like, oh, like just ignoring facts in broad daylight. And that energy is, is a close cousin I would say a more loving cousin, honestly, than what we have approaching during Jupiter and Gemini and Pluto and Aquarius now. Pluto, the planet of death, rebirth, and transformation is in Aquarius for the next 20 years. So it's power through fixed air, okay? If you think that entities of darkness don't know about astrology, don't leverage astrology, Think again. They are doing it. They leverage your nervous system against you all day, every day. That's what smartphones are. That what, that's what the news is. That's what fear is. It's literally people just poking at your nervous system, wanting you to stay scared so you don't think for yourself, so you don't act, so you don't follow your dreams, so you don't remember you're powerful. Because what happens when you're powerful as fuck? We overthrow the oppressive systems. And so What's going to occur is a deepening of this during Pluto and Aquarius and with Jupiter in Gemini. Remember, Jupiter expands everything it touches. Gemini rules the lungs and the nervous system. Okay, the state of your nervous system will be expanded. Okay, so it's very important to notice that connection between 2020 and what we're going into a 20. 24 and 2025 we had an energetic signature of the combination of gemini and aquarius in both um north node is overall positive right it's the destiny timeline and then saturn is overall like e restriction in aquarius and then we have another you know overall positive with gemini in with jupiter but then pluto is a big like red light it's like deep 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 transformation but by way of death though so all of this to say the jupiter and gemini transit is really 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 important it's really 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 powerful and these are the energies that we're going to be playing with and creating with for the next 13 months so this Friday fire is really just to give you a sneak peek into like, okay, literally what's about to happen? How can I prepare? How can I leverage it? And what does it mean? What does it mean in the arc of history? What does it mean for my divine assignment? Okay. So Jupiter and Gemini genius. Now I'm going to invite you into two specific ways where you can go deeper into this with me because it's one thing to listen to a podcast about it. It's a whole other thing to heal with it. It's a whole other thing to study it. It's a whole other thing to learn and discover where it's impacting you specifically in your life. Come to my Jupiter and Gemini Genius Masterclass. This is happening on May 30th live. You will learn my whole transmission on this transit, what it means, how to work with it, like all of the themes, I will teach you exactly where it's impacting you and your unique birth chart and what that means and how to leverage it. 
So I'm not one of those leaders or coaches that's like, drop the how. No, no, no. There's a very, very, very specific how written in your birth chart <laughs> that I will teach you how to read. And then, of course, I will channel a very important breathwork journey for everyone to code these frequencies into your body and quantum leap because Gemini rules the lungs. Gemini rules the nervous system. Quantum leaps are available to those that breathe and you will be able to embrace your totality, bend your reality, and hold multiple truths at once as we enter a whole new phase of new earth creation. So that's the first way you can work with me in this amazing, beautiful, auspicious transit is Jupiter and Gemini Genius Breathwork Masterclass. So the link to that is in the show notes. Go hop in. And I feel inspired right now because it's just very Jupiter vibes, which is abundance. I will put a code in there for you for podcast listeners to get some kind of savings, some kind of discount, because I just love this community. And if you're a podcast listener, you are a ride or die member of this community. Um, you know, with all due respect to social media and Instagram, like, there's so many people on there that like are not committed to their healing, are not committed to growth. Like they would never actually sit down and listen to a, a 20 minute podcast and, and like implement anything. So for you and you alone, my podcast family, there will be a code. Okay. And the other way that you can work with me during this transit is one-on-one -on -one mentorship. So I am really called to deepen into one-on-one -on -one mentorship, into my one-on-one -on -one client work, into really facilitating deep dive, full transformations for people. So one-on-one -on -one mentorship is for you if you are seeking one-on-one -on -one daily coaching and support. If you want a personal astrologer in me, if you want me to create custom channeled breathwork journeys for you to code in your astrology, to code in better habits, to code in your, you know, destiny timeline for you to manifest, for you to create, like for you to be consistent, like creating systems based on your astrology for your life. Like this is for you if you're on divine assignment and you're like, I know Adrienne is the mentor for me. I've been listening to her for a while. I, you know, if you really resonate with my work, if you resonate with this podcast, if you resonate with what I share and who I be and what I stand for, then you will likely thrive in one-on-one -on -one mentorship. So this is for you if you're seeking that deeper layer and the way that you can lean into this with me is to go to the link in the show notes and apply and I will be in touch and I can't wait to welcome you. I have some really amazing, like fun new packages that I'm experimenting with, especially during Gemini season because Gemini is very like curiosity based. And so I'm just being curious and playful and fun. And I'm seeing what's possible in these different packages. So if this is you, go to the link in the show notes and sign up or apply for one-on-one -on -one mentorship. So those are the two ways, the masterclass and mentorship. Um, if you have any questions, you can message me on Instagram. Um, my email is in the show notes as well. I will leave you on this Friday fire with Jupiter and Gemini genius is literally luck, abundance, expansion, and opportunity for the next year. Like your ability to be in deep relationship with this transit, to study it, to know it, to breathe with it, to heal with it, to reset your nervous system will define your abundance, will define your opportunity, will define your ability to stay rooted and anchored and grounded as the pace picks up in the collective. Okay. And your luck and your magic with spirit. So I invite you to the masterclass. I invite you to one-on-one -on -one mentorship. And I'm really excited about this transit. Like we keep really increasing the energy of new earth and what's possible and the miracles. And, you know, it's time to bet on yourself. It's time to do the damn thing. It's time to breathe. It's time to commune with the stars. It's time for this Jupiter energy and in breath work and Gemini. Oh baby. It's about to be amazing. So 
That is this Friday Fire Transmission. That is your invitation. The link to everything is in the show notes. Go out there. Be an amazing you. Be the real you because that's what the world needs. Go make a stranger smile because it charges the whole field and makes a ripple of magic you will never, ever know. Have an amazing weekend. Be the change. Be the light. Sign up for these amazing offers. And I will see you next time on A Better World with Adrian.